Adam here. Told you guys we'd be traveling. Once my friend Walt got here. So Walt is going to go for him. Yeah, okay. And I think we're coming into Mung's out right here. Last episode, I mentioned that I had accidentally disconnected my microphone, so I was experiencing some audio problems. But don't worry, the sound will restore soon. But for now, I'm just going to do this voiceover. The first thing we had to do, as I said, we came unprepared, so we had to look for a hotel. So we drove along the coast, and we came across a hotel that looked very nice called the Mountain View Hotel. After pulling into the quite steep driveway and parking our bikes, we noticed a vicious pack of guard dogs, but they turned out to be more bark than bite. We introduced ourselves to the receptionist and told her that we required a room. Our plan was to take a double room in order to share the price. And then I thought back, well, I've had Walt stay in my living room for the past three or four nights, and I remember he snores like a bear. So we decided to get separate rooms. The receptionist decided to show us the family room. We knew we certainly didn't need a room that big, so we informed the receptionist that we'd please like to see two separate rooms. The single bed room with the view was 500k per night, and it was actually quite the nice room. The room right across the hall was also open for 450k at night, but it had no view. She showed us the last room, and it also had a spectacular view like the other one. It was at this point I started thinking. She just showed us the entire hotel and it was vacant, so I knew the prices were negotiable. My girlfriend sat down to negotiate and she negotiated 400K per night for two nights. A bargain was struck and we moved right in. Soon the battery on my GoPro is gonna die and that's when I'm gonna realize my sound wasn't working. But here's me giving the tour of the room. So this is the bathroom. It actually has an enclosed shower fixture. The Wi-Fi is pulling in a solid seven megabits per second. And here is the balcony and the view, and here's where my battery dies. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My battery died. As I was saying, it's got a beautiful view of the South China Sea. I was in Vung Tao a few years ago, but I never was into YouTube at the time. So I'm glad I could finally show it to you, you guys. We booked it here for two nights. Our neighbor Walter is right across the way. I'm going to go bug him. Hopefully he's got his pants on. And I'll show you guys his room. What's really neat here, too, is we have this little hangout balcony. So. We can come out here late at night when we're too drunk to be driving around and we can sit out here and look at the ocean and have some beers and then stumble to our rooms and go to sleep when we're ready. All right, let's go make sure Walt has his pants on. So we got a defunct light bulb in here. Did you try both these switches? I did. Okay, well, we will make the it known at the reception. I just have to change the bulb. Before that, his bathroom looks pretty much like mine, but he's got a kind of a nasty limish green color. He's got pretty much the same view I do, since we're neighbors. So we did pretty good here, I would say. Any thoughts, feelings, words for you two? Uh, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Uh, it's a great view. Um, I think the light bulb situation, I'm pretty pleased. It seems cranking out as we speak. Time to shower up, clean up, get something good to eat. All right, sounds like a plan. Now I'm gonna run down to reception. Complain about the light bulb. So we found his light. That's your main power for your entire room. Follow her. Wow. Okay, I will follow her. This is like a mountain, huh? It is a mountain. Mountain. I'm not. Come here. Wow. Why don't they have tables up here? You can. Yeah, just, like you a, can do it in here. We can. Party up here. Maybe they're just hanging bed sheets to dry up here. I like a little table situation better for comfort. So, uh, and we wouldn't have a big high up wall in the top. It's still cool. Anyway, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna run down and get your handbag. You can go up there, huh? If we felt like we wanted to, I suppose we could. We can go in the morning. You did say you want to go on a mountain. We're settling into our hotel. We took my girlfriend out to get some bun ba way to refill her stomach from liquids after getting sick from the boat. And we're having a refreshing beverage. And after this, we're going to go to Lucas Pizza. I see that on the Google reviews that it's rated very highly and it's medium expensive.
It's like a Hawaiian pizza that you get from Pizza Hut. The ham and pineapple. And this one's got an egg right in the middle of the pizza. You guys ever seen that before? Yeah, that slice. Yeah. Yep, chung. Yep. So that's it for Lucas Pizza. The Kaminara pizza was absolutely delicious. I talked to the owner, he said it was a, a unique recipe that he thought of doing a pizza. Usually it's a pasta. I have to say it was very good. Very pleased, thank you. And it was so good, we're taking some home. <laughs> yeah, thank you, bye bye. The large pizzas were a lot larger than I actually thought they would be, so we ordered two. Sometimes you order a large pizza and it's more like a medium, but here it was an actual large. So we got some snacks for later. And now unfortunately, I forgot my mouse at home, so I have to go get a mouse so I can use my laptop at the hotel. We came back from our night on the town. As you can see, we've already set up out here. We're having some beers. We polished off our pizza. He's got his game going. I got my laptop going. And we're gonna close out the night here. Um, well, after, after we enjoyed that <clears throat> delicious pizza, um, you know, we took a little leftovers to go. Uh, we did a bit of driving around, um, made a couple of stops. We had to get some travel essentials. Uh, you know, you can't pack everything you want to pack on a, on a bike um, traveling the countryside. Um, one thing that's nice about here is, is the streets aren't too crowded. I mean, driving here on a bike, you know, after, you know, just re-familiarizing myself with it, it was pretty easy getting around here. Uh, you know, no stress whatsoever. So, um, you know, it's nice to just feel the breeze flowing through your hair, not have to worry about traffic, crazy people driving. Um, so that was nice. Um, yeah, we, we stopped at a couple of uh, uh, watering holes here locally. The first one was pretty nice. They both, uh, both of the places had fans. It was uh, nice and cool, a uh, great atmosphere. Um, the first place was very spacious, wide open. I mean, it had pool tables, it had dart boards. Um, it had mini foosball, I mean, the, the TVs. Um, very spacious, very open. Uh, you know, good party place, I think. Uh, the second place was a little bit smaller, a little more intimate, which was nice because we uh, met some locals there, um, you know, got into some good conversations, had a couple of brewskis. Uh, yeah, it was nice. It was a good introduction to Ving Tao. So this concludes the journey to Vung Tao. After we went to Lucas Pizza, we went to a couple of drinking establishments. And what's funny is after a few beers, Mr. Luca himself, who was the owner of the pizza place that we went to, he actually showed up and had a beer and shook our hands and it was nice to see him again. This will conclude the journey. So look forward to the next day, which will be day one in Vung Tao, where we'll spend the entire day here and show you guys that. So hope you guys look forward to the next episode. And I want to remind all of you guys that you guys are awesome, and I hope you guys stay that way. Coming up next on Gamer Abroad. Ready to go? What do you want for lunch? I'm a little worried it might rain. Okay, 800 steps, here we go. One. One.